Get outside in Pepin County. Pack up the family and visit the childhood home of Laura Ingalls Wilder. Sail on Lake Pepin. Bike the Chippewa River State Trail. Hike up Maiden Rock and throw a line in a trout stream. Sign up to win a vacation at visitpepincounty.com. Once again, we sat down with singer-songwriter Tommy Prine. We chatted about touring, his finished debut album, and his love for the Driftless area. We also connected with Andy Hughes of Broken Wrist Records to talk about Leo and Leona's and Tommy's upcoming show, which is bound to sell out. You can find more conversations, food reviews, live music, and events on our website, lacrosselocal.com. I'm Amy. And I'm Brent. And this is Lacrosse Local. Could have known you're all I need Walking up and down the street We both know That was then and this is how You fall in love without a doubt She was perfect we connected about a year ago and everything from influences, you know, people you're collaborating with, songwriting, you know, that was about, man, I think it was October of last year. What have you been up to so far? I follow you on social media, so it seems like you've been doing a lot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's definitely been a lot of being on the road again and traveling all over the place. I played in London and oh. Canada, so that was definitely really fun. I also got married in June, so that's a pretty big life event. <laughs> Congrats. Congratulations, Thank man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's been it's been a really big year for sure, just in terms of like kind of getting everything into scope for next year, because hopefully that's when the record will come out. So this year's just kind of been more of the same, but also just kind of like getting the right team around me and kind of preparing for what's to come. Yeah, I know. Last time we chatted about, I think you were just kind of putting the tour together and you you actually played at Leo and Leona's and sold out that show. And now you have another one coming up September 5th. Pretty pumped about it coming back to the Driftless Oh my area. gosh, I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, the first show that I was ever there was so fun. I'll never forget it. So I'm really excited I get to come back and do it. I can't wait for that. We were just talking to Andy about some other projects recently, but he also threw out, you know, he saw you doing a live stream, I, I think, in the last couple of weeks, and he saw a sold out poster of Leo and Leona's in the background. Yeah, yeah, I actually, I have it up in my in my room, in my little <laughs> office room. I'm super proud of that. I was so excited. It was the first time I sold out a show, and Andy got me that poster that says sold out on it, and I immediately came home, threw it in the frame, and put it up on my wall. <laughs> it's kind of how we do it. It's handwritten, you know? That was um, yeah. this area, and that's the thing, like, to share someone like you with this area and Brent, you know, we've got, we really do it. We've got some of the, the coolest music fans as anywhere. And I travel and I see people that love music, but the folks here and Leo Neon is in that group. So, you know, once you come in, they really claim you as their own, man. So it's, it's really special. I know like Michael Martin Murphy has a connection to this area too. And he does the same thing at Leon Neon as, as big as he gets and goes around and plays but he considers that kind of say it's just a, it's a cool place. And so we really fortunate and we're lucky to be a part of your journey as you sort of, like you said, as you're going to have the things to come and we're just excited to get to be a part of it, man. Absolutely, man. I'm, I'm honored too. I mean, it's, you know, I've definitely been looking at my calendar, waiting for that, for that next day to get back and uh, hang out over, over at Leo Leona's. Cool, man. So- so we kind of, you know, touched on when we chatted last year too, you know, a debut album was coming then. So we're finally going to be able to hear it. You've been practicing a lot on the road or how's that all come together? Yeah. So, I mean, it's still kind of like slow and steady, which is probably like the number one biggest surprise and also biggest lesson that I've, that I've had ever since I started this whole recording and touring artist thing is like when I finished the record, last july i was like oh man like i can't wait like when's it coming out guys like october and everyone kind of looked at me and was like uh probably not buddy like let's 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 put it off for a while now it's like just so much stuff on the back end that you got to get in line and stuff like that and you got to get the right people around you so i'm we're looking at next year 
for a release, but I'm much more confident in that release date for the record. But I'll definitely be playing some songs from the record at the show. And I've been writing a whole bunch this year as well. And I actually have a single coming out at the end of the week mm. that's not on the record. So I'll have one coming out on September 9th. It's called Ships in the Harbor. And I think I played it actually last time I was there. You did. Um, yeah, that's, that's yeah. super exciting. Super exciting. So we'll yeah, man. So that, sure that that'll we, be. Yeah, we'll help to share and everything. People that people will be very excited to listen and grab it and share it. I know. Yeah, absolutely. I'm super excited, too, just because like we um, we thought I talked with my team about it. And, you know, it wasn't time to put the record out. But I was just like, I really want to put out something, y'all. Like, I just feel like I've been like talking so much about like putting out music, but I don't have anything out. And they were just like, well, what are some of the new songs you've written? Like, do you want to, like, do two singles? I was like, 100%, let's do that. So it should be out September 9th. So cool. And, uh, yeah, just at the end of that run. So really excited about that. Talking about surrounding yourself with good people. Is there anybody on that album or people producing it or any, uh, any musicians that you're particularly proud of that might make an appearance? Well, on the record, it was co-produced by my good friends, Gina Johnson and Rustin Kelly. And uh, Gina is an amazing engineer and producer, and she's worked on so many records that I love and the world loves. She worked with my dad a, a whole bunch. Rustin Kelly is also like a, one of my dear, dear friends and also just so happens to be one of my favorite songwriters. So I'm really excited to have gotten to work with them. I know uh, Sadler Vaden from the 400 unit did the guitars on mm -hmm. on the record. So that was really exciting getting to work with him and hearing back those songs and hearing him put his own flavor on those was really cool. Coming up September 5th, uh, Leona Leona's, what can we expect? Including Andy. I mean, what's, what's the show going to be all about? Well, I mean, we, we want to present a similar experience that we did last time. That was our first, you know, as Tommy talks about, you know, how much it means, it'll always be, it'll always mean that much to us. Stacy and I and Broken Wrist Records who are really, you know, Broken Wrist Records was, two guys that have done this for a really long time, sort of independently, both of us having bands and toured and, you know, we book ourselves, we do all the stuff as a ton of do it yourself musicians do. And we've got a good market and we just thought, well, let's work together and collaborate and not really knowing what we were going to do with it. So Tommy and sort of connecting when we did and sort of following what Tommy was starting to do and go out on the road a little bit, just was like fate kind of working and then that was ended up being our first real sort of thing that we did as Broken Wrist. And so since then, we've kind of gone on and done more ticketed events. Stacy and I have a, a group now, a band, The Lake Effect. We're out and we're playing and recording. And, and now, as Tommy said, we kind of sat, we're sitting there thinking, if we have this name behind us, Broken Wrist Records, we really should release some stuff. So that's what we've been doing, too, is we've been recording and stuff for our EP, The Lake Effect, but also recording and producing some other EPs. So look to have like a compilation to stuff to release. So we're kind of in that same exciting phase. But the show, we really liked that it was a, a presentation of Tommy and his songs in an acoustic setting like that. Leo Leona is just, just gorgeous. There's nobody I've met or that, that's been in that room that doesn't feel it's a special place to, to listen to music and to play music. The shows that I've always loved there, either watching or performing, have been that sort of very simple presentation of somebody with a guitar talking about their song so that for me i think that you know that's going to be the same sort of feel i was telling brett tommy that ticket sales are just awesome like you know as we expected as you know come through and you really had a connection with the area so the ticket sales are showing that but so for folks listening don't sit on tommy prime tickets because it's gonna sell out so that's what <laughs> for, from my my perspective has your show changed much, Tommy? Like, it, you know, the way you you look at it, just kind of uh, your experience getting by here? Like, you know, what do you bring to the stage? No, I think, I mean, it's still solo acoustic, but I legitimately learn something new every time that I get off the stage after a show, you know. And now it's been about a year since the last show. And I just feel like I've learned so much even since then, just about like performing and delivering songs and how I talk about them and stage presence and everything, you know. So I think it'll just be, it'll be a lot of the same, but it'll also be a lot of, you know, kind of like a new take on it. I have some new songs that I'm playing and, then, you know, I have a little bit more experience under my belt. So I think it'll be, it'll be a fantastic evening. So I'm just really looking forward to it. All right. So 
where do people pick up tickets, Andy? Do you know where all that stuff is? Or is that can people just Absolutely. grab them? <laughs> Absolutely. Probably easiest is brokenwristrecords.com. Otherwise, all our social media places have it's a link to we use brown paper tickets because we're just two guys. We do this ourselves. So that's why we use brown paper tickets. It's an easy way for us to do online sales. You can also there's a uh, way to hit us up just on brokenwristrecords.com if you just want to come and talk to me and meet me at a record store or something and get tickets. We'll do the physical route as well. Or you can order them from brown paper and print them. You know, there's lots of ways. But again, it's going to sell out September 5th at Leo Leona's. So I think that's the biggest thing. There's a limited amount that we have up there, again, to keep it kind of special and, and, and intimate. And that's sort of the way we want to present Tommy and his music. So if people want to check out more on Tommy, they just head to TommyPrine.com. Are you active on all the social medias, the the Twitter, the Facebook, the Instagram, the TikTok? I <laughs> yeah, I definitely am. Yeah, I'm, I'm on all platforms, always talking about something. It might not always be music, but I'm definitely using it. Yeah, and TommyPrine.com, you can check out tour dates and ticket links and all that fun stuff, too. Lacrosse Local Podcast is a production of River Travel Media. Do you have an interview idea you'd like to share with us? Message us on Facebook at Lacrosse Local. Find out more about us at lacrosselocal.com. And you can subscribe to the Lacrosse Local Podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you like us, rate us five stars. We appreciate it.